Refreshing Stories. My name is Reen. I'm an ordinary office worker. I'm a bit of a goofball and often make ordinary mistakes, but everyone is so kind to me that I manage to do my best. Miss Aizawa, you got the numbers wrong here. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. But the documents you make are outstanding. Really? Yeah. They're better than mine. Yay! I'm so happy! Don't get carried away, though. Just don't make any mistakes like this. I'm sorry, I'll be careful. This person is Mr. Shindo, who's been a great help to me ever since I joined the company. He points out the bad points, but is like a kind and gentle older brother. My goal is to catch up with him as soon as possible. I can't wait for the day I can stand alongside him. But one day, I found something crazy. Excuse me, I'd like to talk to you about something. What is it? Why are you so formal? Please come here for a minute. Look at this. Huh? It says 100,000 yen for travel expenses, but there is no record of travel, and the entertainment expenses are obviously high. Oh. There's more. Um... Miss Aizawa, I got it. Actually, I know. What? How do I say it? It's kind of a company matter. Company matter? What kind of company matter? Uh, you get the idea. Oh, I got it! Good. You were all partying behind my back! Huh? Oh, is everyone planning my birthday surprise? What? Am I right? How did you get that? Did I get it wrong? I'm sorry, but that's not even close. Oh, man. Simply put, it's embezzlement. Embezzlement? Shh! Your voice is too loud! Oh, I'm sorry. Our company has tons of expense overcharges and fictitious claims. Oh no! Who on earth would do that? Closer to home. It's Mr. Takahashi. He's a very powerful person. And most of the upper management is involved in the embezzlement. What? This is the reality. I thought this was a good standing company. Not at all. Mr. Takahashi goes to a cabaret club every night with the money he embezzled. No way! Everyone in the upper management is like that. They make the employees do all the work, and they just play. This is too much! Who else among the employees knows about it? Everyone except you. What? Why only me? Usually people notice it right away. Oh man, why didn't you tell me? You mean like, did you know they're embezzling? Did you know that? I can't say that. You're right, I get it now. Get what? Why y'all look like it's the end of the world all the time. That's a bit of an exaggeration. But after years of the system, it's only natural that it's exhausting. Hmm. Oh! But if we tell the president, it's solved! No, he knows. What? If they're doing it with such flair, you'd notice. Oh, no. I'm really the only one left out. That's the point. But I'm glad. If the president knows about it, it's a quick fix. Miss Aizawa, picture it. Do you think that the president can stand up to the people in upper management? Uh, I don't think so. He doesn't have a dignity or stature. Right. The president is timid. If the president says anything to anyone in upper management, his heart will be shattered. He'll be heartbroken. He'll never recover. Oh no, he's too unreliable. I want him to build up his mental strength. To those in upper management, the president is just a decoration and they don't care about him. Hm, <laughs> that's unacceptable. Then let's all protest together. That's not going to happen. How come? It's embezzlement. Everyone's lives depend on it. I have a wife and son to protect too. But, then I'll tell Mr. Takahashi. No, Miss Aizawa, be an adult. This is what it means to live in society. Hmm, is it really so unreasonable and painful to live in society? With a clouded mind, I went back to work. <sighs> What's that about living in society? Aiko, Ryo, I'm sorry. I'm going to fight. The next day. What's all of this? Oh, it's a long story. What do you mean? Your face is pale! <laughs> I guess so. I didn't sleep well. That can't be right. What's really going on? I was fired. What? Why? I advised Mr. Takahashi to stop embezzling. What? You said not to yesterday. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist saying it. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm joking. I was just trying to be cool. I'm so stupid. No, you're not. You're always right. It's okay. This is what society is about. Well, 
Good luck to you then. Mr. Shindo! No! Please don't quit! Why? Why is it Mr. Shindo? And so Mr. Shindo left the company. I couldn't get his sad back out of my mind. The money that the employees worked so hard for was seized by the upper management and played as much as they wanted. And the right people get kicked out. A company like this is absolutely wrong. I hate bell peppers and unfair things. I could hardly get any work done thinking about it. Three days later. Excuse me. What is it? Oh, Miss Aizawa. Actually, I'm here about the embezzlement. Embezzlement? Where did you learn such a disturbing word? I noticed the other day. Ah, Miss Aizawa, you must be tired. It's a tough job, isn't it? I'll massage you personally. Uh, no thank you. I'm good. Really? I'm good at it. Isn't it strange that Mr. Shindo was fired? Hmm? You mean him? He was playing the hero for nothing. Please don't speak ill of him. I bet he's crying outside the office right now. Oh, Bob, help me! Like that! <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're doing here. But what can a lowly female employee like you fetch tea, shoulder rubs? Please, don't be ridiculous. Huh? What did you say? I didn't hear you. Don't be ridiculous. Wow, my eardrop. I patiently listen to your silly talk and all you do is blabber. What's wrong? It's not like you. Shut up! I could shove a baseball in your mouth! Ah, let's just cool down for a second, okay? I only have one thing to say. Please stop the embezzlement. What are you saying? There's no embezzlement in this company. How can you say that? First of all, there's no proof that I did it. It's a false accusation. Move! Huh? Get out of the way! Oh no! My desk! Hey, wait a second! Stop it! I found proof! That is... Calm down. Do you think you can get away with this? What? Who the heck do you think I am? All upper management listens to me, even the president. I see. That means I'm the top guy in this company. So give it to me. <sighs> I don't care if you're the top guy or not. Who the heck do you think you are? Huh? What's that noise? What's that? Listen. Are those motorcycles? Is that a biker gang? But their clothes are different. I don't know what they're doing here. Oh, I'm sorry. They're old buddies of mine. Buddies? All those rugged people? And flag? Satisfied union? You know what that is? Of course I know! That's the biggest ladies group in Japan! They're the kind of people you should never get involved with! Wow, I didn't know they were famous. What's your connection with them? Oh, I used to be their leader. What? You're joking! <laughs> it's true. Sorry I broke your desk. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh my god, they're gonna kill me! Oh god, help me! Hey, what happened to your jobs? I thought you were in a crisis. Oh my god. Oh well. Well, since you're here, take me to the cops. At the police station. Wow, I never thought I'd see you again. It's been a long time. You changed a lot. You look like a normal girl now. <laughs> Please, I'm a normal girl to begin with. <laughs> You're right. So, please take care of this. Yeah, all right. Of course, I'll do what you need done. Also, the employees were complicit in this. Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Thank you, Ken. Your appearance has changed, but your strong sense of justice, or rather, your kindness, hasn't. <laughs> do you really think so? Yeah, I'm glad. Come visit sometime. Okay. So I gave evidence of the embezzlement to the police, and all the upper management who had been embezzling were arrested. Apparently, Mr. Takahashi was the only one who resisted to the end, and when he saw my face, for some reason he became quiet and was taken away in a police car quietly. How do you think that is? <laughs> Here's what happened to the company. Everyone is cheerful as if they have come up for air now that the root of the evil is gone. However, criticism of the president has been pouring in. Well, he pretended not to see it, so there's nothing he can do about it. Nevertheless, everyone had to forgive the president who was crying and getting down on his knees. And since the president's power also led to the cancellation of Mr. Shindo's dismissal, maybe the president isn't so bad either. There's just one problem. I had to leave the company. It seemed that the problem was that I destroyed the desk. 
but all the employees give me a grand send off and I'm feeling kind of happy. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye.